Okay, I've never seen anything like this. What is this? Very, very cool. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be in his way, that's for sure. Damn, this looks good. Hello, where the heck were you? Over to the Walmart today. Hopefully we'll find some uh, Master of the Universe Origin figures and, well, hopefully some G.I. Joes and maybe some Transformers. <laughs> Wish me luck. So I'm over at the um, box store of Walmart and wasn't expecting to find anything. Indeed, I didn't find anything, but I did find something very interesting. Check this out. Right beside grapple. One, two, three, four grapples. <laughs> there is a Canada's number one toy shop, Walmart, Masses Universe hanger. Damn, this looks good. It's got He Man. He's there with his power sword. <laughs> This is awesome, but what I wouldn't get to actually get some figures. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm hoping that there will be some display coming soon because this look, this is very promising. This is very, very cool. All right, well, unfortunately, there's nothing here though. So, and they're doing something strange here. It looks like they're doing a refresh. Products are all over the place, like in the wrong places. Wonder if they're getting ready for Christmas. Really gearing up, I think, for the holiday season. A whole bunch of different uh, toy displays that I've never seen before. Check it out. There's a full Lego display here. That's crazy. I am crossing my fingers for a full Masters of the Universe display. That would be epic. If that actually comes to Toronto, I think I'd lose my I think I'd lose my sanity. <laughs> yeah, I'll be once hot. That's pretty cool. Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Imperial Walkers. Very, very cool. Yeah, awesome sets here. Yep, I definitely think they're gearing up for uh, for Christmas now. Sweet. So I got pretty excited, but uh, ended up they were the WWE Masters of the Universe action figures. Asked one of the employees to help me out, and uh, in this one it has Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt, sorry, two of him. Very cool to see that, and it also comes with a Jake the Snake, which is always exciting. So that's awesome, and of course comes with Mr. T, which is always, always very cool. All right, so if anybody's looking for these, they are here at the Box Grove location. They're putting them on the shelf right now. Very, very cool. Awesome. Stocking again, and I found another box. Oh boy, I hope this is the one. I'll ask one of the guys on the floor to open it up and see what's inside. But, fingers crossed guys, this might be it. Whew. Uh, yep, it's another trap jaw box, which is cool. We have trap jaw. Awesome. Skeletor. Very cool. Oh, here he is. Manny faces. Very cool. And of course. He-Man. Awesome. Very, very cool. Okay, so I'm going to put these back on the shelf. They are awesome, but somebody else deserves them. Alright guys, if you're looking for Manny Faces or Trap Jaw, they're here at the Box Group location. Whew, another awesome hunt. But it Still, Scareglow and Orko have eluded me. Well, the hunt continues, everybody. He-Man and Skeletor from this set. So I'm leaving Trapjaw and Many Faces here for uh, for anybody who's looking for them. Yeah, I'm hunting for Tails from the thrift store. He's uh, He's been looking for these for a while. So, hopefully he's happy for this. Guys, we gotta help each other. Make sure that uh, Scalper Sand doesn't grab these. 
and help uh, other collectors in your area to uh, be able to grab these for themselves. All right, guys, awesome hunt, and back to it. <laughs> Found another Skeletor and He-Man with the trap jaw and the many faces. I'm picking this up for uh, Tales from the Thrift Keeper. Uh, he's on Instagram if you guys want to follow him. So he's been looking for these and I'm glad I was able to find today. All right guys, anyways, I'm heading off to the next location. See you there. Here at um, the Markfield Toys R Us and check it out. Uh, they have Commander Pyre here. He was a um, Star Wars Galaxy Edge exclusive. Looking pretty cool. So he's here. A whole bunch of them actually. Wow, a ton of them. And there is also Captain Cardinal, who we've seen before. Which is always very cool. And we also have another Honda Okana. Yeah, so all these guys are here at uh, Markfield Toys R Us, if anybody's interested. They have quite a few of them actually. Not bad. Alright, let's move on to the Transformers. be a bit of a clearance still going on. <laughs> all of these Kylo Ren's are on sale. Man, that's crazy. More Childs. Oh, hello. There's a bit of a savings here. The child here is gone from $79.99 to $69.97. And that's the power of the force, bring it down to 10 bucks. Bring it down 10 bucks. Yeah, nothing else really to uh, write home about, but uh, whoa, what the heck is this? What? Okay. Whoa, <laughs> I thought it was just this little thing here. It's a huge freaking chest. Okay, I've never seen anything like this. What is this? Okay, is it a Halloween thing? Okay, it looks like a Halloween getup. Cool, so you can dress up. It has for four, size small. <laughs> yeah, it's got some props in it. A frog, which you can eat, a blaster. All right, the child mask, I guess. And there's Mando's mask. And it looks like it comes with a shirt. Very cool. Yeah, it comes with this nice little box. Neat. Crazy. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anybody else uh, of any true interest. Oh, they got the Mandalorian uh, rocket gauntlet for Nerf. Pretty cool tie-in. Yeah, some of the series black figures. Nothing really too outstanding. All right, let's go check out the Transformers. Oh, wait a second. A bunch of DC figures here. I already picked one this this guy up for nine bucks at Walmart, which was a really great deal, I think. Same thing with the Superman here. I was able to take care of that little business. Very cool. There are those multiverses again, Batman Earth 32. Yeah, if, if Batman was the Green Lantern. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, there's another Grim Knight. Again, if uh, the Punisher and the Batman had the same ideals, I guess. Jeez Louise. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be in his way, that's for sure. Oh, hey, there's a blue Batman variant here. That's cool. He looks very, very cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And that's about it. There's Batgirl again with a piece of the Batmobile. Neat. Alright, let's go on. 
WWE section. I'm going to start covering this one day. We'll see what happens. TMNT. It's kind of bare now. They had most of their sales. There's that Dragon Dagger. Oh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. If it ever goes down in price again, I probably will pull the trigger. It's just got so many additional features which I'm looking for. Oh, they got in some more of the Zords. Cool. Oh, there's Tyrannosaurus. You know what? I'm gonna have to... Damn. Okay, now I'm gonna have to ask uh, Will if he's still looking for this. Finally found it, but this is full price, so... Gonna find out if he needs it. I guess they have two of them here, which is not, which is not bad. Very cool. Okay. I guess I'll hold on up for a little bit. Yeah, there's that Zeo Megazord. Oh well, onward and upward. Okay, here are most of the Battle Masters. Yeah, there's Slitherfang, all the other guys we've seen before. Some of the MicroMasters. Apparently these guys are going to be a big part of the next Siege series. Sorry, um, Earthrise series, which is going to be cool. Yeah, other than that, uh, here we go. Yeah, more of the same offerings. Here's Hoist. Ironworks. Wheeljack, who I'm keeping my eye on him. I really want to pick him up one day. Cliff Jumper. More hoists. <laughs> I am going to start a hoist uh, counter. <laughs> Maybe next time. Alright. And what do we have here? Just the usual suspects. We have uh, Starscream. Optimus Prime. Grapple. How's it going, buddy? Don't worry. I'm working on it. So two of you guys here. Uh, there's an ape face. Let's dig a little bit. Another ape face. Another star screen from Siege. Oh, there's an Earthrise star screen. That's always good to see. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Love his design so much better. Okay, who else do we have here? We have star screen, star screen. Hello, where the heck were you a week ago? Ah, damn it. Ah, I was looking for this guy for so long during the sale. 60% off, would have pulled the trigger instantly. Damn it. Oh well, he's here now. I still have a 20% off coup, um, ring check. Maybe I should think about grabbing him. He's got the yellow eyes though. I really would like the Netflix version with the red eyes. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there are two more. Okay, so if anybody's actually looking for Soundwave, there are at least three of them here. Well, there might only be two, depending on if I get my rain check. All right, so, yeah. All right, guys, well, Hoist, sorry, buddy, I'm gonna have to move you guys over because Hoist is not getting any attention. You know what, screw it, there you go. <sighs> okay. All right, I think I'll go get that rain check and see if they'll honor it. Oh, but just in case, there's a ton of uh, Skylinks here. One, two, at least three, maybe more. Shockwave from the Studio Series, Scavenger, Astro Train again from Siege. Ultra Magnus. Yeah. And we've got Shockwave again. Yeah, pretty much all the same offerings. Uh, nobody else standing out. Yep, yeah, that's about it. Okay. I guess we'll uh, head to the front. So I'm back here at Stilva Walmart, and yeah, it doesn't look like anything's refreshed too badly. See all these WWE figures. They still have the Fiend Bray, Bray Wyatt, 
Seth Rollins. Hey, check it out. They have Roblox and Destro. <laughs> okay, no Scarlet though. Damn, that's the only one I'm, I'm missing. Okay, so if anybody's interested, there are two, man, come here quick. Roadblock and Destro right here at Stoville Walmart. Yeah, I think that's about it. There's nothing else here. No Monsters Universe. Uh, I'm really starting to wonder. I think uh, Scalper Sam is back to his old tricks. Especially since I saw Scalper Sam here just the other day. Crazy. All right, guys. Well, let's quickly check uh, the Transformers section. Nothing else in the DC section to really write home about, unfortunately. Hello, Grapple. Three grapples today. Four grapples today. Uh, guys, five grapples today. Oh, God. Guys, come on. we got to reduce the grapple population. Somebody adopt the grapple today. And more reds. But that's about it. Nothing else too exciting to write home about. All right. Well, we'll check back again tomorrow. Okay, this is seriously getting ridiculous. Here's another swapped, um, <laughs> another swap figure. What the hell is going on? Now I'm wondering if that stupid guy who stole, who not, not stole, but I mean, if he scalped all these things, is now just trolling everybody. Replacing them with diecast figures. This is just stupid. This is, it says it's a, thir a 3 30 second um, Ahsoka's clone trooper. But this guy is definitely not the one I saw yesterday, the other day. This is just sad. Like, seriously. Uh, terrible. Terrible, guys. Nothing else to talk about, though. Everything else is more well, or less the same thing. Now, I'm starting to think that that Scalper Sam is also a Swapper Sam, which makes him doubly worse. Terrible. And I said that this is odd, and probably no one's going to know that it's here. Well, it's been a week now, and nobody's picked up this uh, carbon freezing chamber. Yeah, it's been sitting here for the longest time. Of course, probably because it's in the preschool area. Crazy. And uh, there are a whole bunch of these Luke Yodas here, as well as the War Machine Marvel Legends. Yeah, I have a funny feeling these things are gonna stay here until they go on clearance. <laughs> Very strange. Crazy my camera dies something really quick I just tried to scan in these two figures let's see what happens when I do so these are overwatch ultimate figures watch this okay that's interesting try um, Sombra here what the heck okay let's find out if this is real three dollars that's crazy I was able to pick up those two figures for uh, Tales from the Thrift Keeper. And uh, yeah, I hope he's really excited about that because <laughs> I almost missed them. So anyway, uh, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. If you have any comments or suggestions on where I should go to next, please leave that in the comment section below. And consider subscribing as it helps YouTube to realize that I'm doing a good job and you guys enjoy my work. Well, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Geek proud.